Bom dia, evening, my amigos and amigas. Hey, buonasera. Buonasera. The Italians are coming, so we got to film before they arrive. Can we do it again? What was with the face? <laughs> um, someone asked me for some frozen Ferrero Ferrero Rocheres. There they are. Um, so that's what that is. We got some huevos here, huevos rancheros. Oh, don't say that. Every time you say it, I want to eat huevos rancheros. Stop it. What else? That's what I said. Huevos rancheros. Every time you say it, I want it. Yeah. Well, maybe you can get some tapatio on there. Stop. We got some. Uh, I don't know what it is. But it's some kind of brown powder. Oh and goodness, uh, Daniel. what? Brown it's dark powder? sugar. Cocoa powder. Yeah, that one. And uh, so, if you can guess what we're making here, let me know. I'm loving the hashtag. I. Wait, are people doing stuff with it? Yes. Oh, I didn't know. I'm loving it, loving it, loving it, loving it. So you keep keep them coming. Show show the Italians. We won't film for a while, guys. We have a jam-packed couple weeks coming up. Laura left a pair of shoes that were pretty pricey in New York City in a hotel room. Although, we have a... Okay. Wait a minute. Okay, wait let's wait tell the minute, whole story. Wait a minute. Now, what you must remember... No accusation. No accusation. No accusation. We won't accuse here. But what you must remember... But the series of events was so bizarre. Laura doesn't forget shoes anywhere. No, she doesn't. Okay? Anywhere. That is all, folks. And I'm going to go pick them up this week on Thursday. Well, all I'm going to say is this was the most banging thing I've had in a very, very long time in my life. Oh! What? You mean banana-wise? Well, I'm not allowed to say this was the most bangingest thing I've ever had in my life. Yes. Not ever, but most recently. But it's probably about to be beaten by these. Which have a little secret surprise inside. I can't have any more. I've eaten so bad. You can resist that? I didn't think so. <laughs> it's right. so good. Mm, mm, mm. You alright? Yeah, I'm older. Probably just had a heart attack. <laughs> alright, so let's wrap these up. It's 421 in the morning. It is not. Oh, so it's wrong over there? I don't have much time to tell my story, but I have a story to tell. Here it goes. Ready? Okay, so Laura's putting the towel on top of these cupcakes. She can't do it in a circle, okay? Why would you want to? I mean, who, who cares? I fell in love with her because she can't do anything in a straight line or in a circular pattern. When she gave me the first pizza she ever made for me, it was a special shape. It was shaped like a star, but I didn't know what it was. It looked it like... It was a star! It very much looked like a star, okay? I worked on that pizza for a long time! So rude! I feel like our entryway is like... And it's the topic of what we've been working on, so check it out. I ripped out the door jam. I know some of you guys really enjoy the fact that we do this stuff all by ourselves. And I like that. I love hearing that from you guys because, in a way, it's fun. So, I can give you tips and tricks. Now, in this case, the door jam, the new one, was a half inch wider than the old one. So, and the hinges of the doors didn't line up, so you absolutely have to change your... Well, if you're really good with woodworking, be my guest. You can actually route the little spot for the hinges to go because look the way a door is you know the, the hinge sits into the wood so it's smooth but when you get a new door usually they don't line up so in this case they did not line up the hinges on the old door were like here and way down there so it didn't fit uh, in fact i just banged this into place so i have to make some of the trim is coming off a little bit because i had to level it the last second i realized there was an eighth inch gap so anyway um ripped out the door jam waiting for the caulk to dry so i can paint it the jam and then put in a new one and I cracked my caulk over here when I was banging a few minutes ago before I started the camera but that's okay no big deal looks pretty good the issue I had was that the wall is not plumb from one side to the other so this crack was not even from the top to the bottom when the door is shut and it was off by like an eighth of an inch in most cases you wouldn't see it but in our house you come from this angle 50% of the time and you would see that. And you won't see it as much when the door is painted black. So anyhow, now i got to get the door off, paint it, paint the trim, paint the molding, and we should be in pretty good shape. Alright, so here's the deal. I cut the grass today with the old push mower, the old house. And um, I am a sweaty mess. It's hot. It's it hot out here. Hot. I'm going to have a heart attack doing this. My plan is to have this, have it listed in tres meses. 
Nice weeks, three months. I said. meant uh, semanas. Okay. My Spanish isn't that great right now. Clearly, because yeah. I'm sweating. Um, so how do you feel about that? Here, I'm gonna hand you this because I'm gonna hit the road here. I gotta get a soda and a candy bar. I hate to say it, that's what I need right I now. I need a coffee and. I need a coffee and I need some black ink for my printer. Whose printer? Our printer. Uh, you know, what's mine is yours and what's yours is yours, but certain things uh -huh. cross the line. Whose printer is it? <laughs> Your printer. That's right. Um, I was going to tell that's you about okay. some filming to do. Credit. And for people who say that I don't drive, I do drive. You just don't see she does. it. She doesn't drive that often. Because I will never, I don't really vlog when I drive. Would Vincent Chase drive himself around? Um, and also keep in mind that you guys see just a snippet of our, our day really it's just a snippet of our week kind of all combined so well i plan on fixing that yeah but when i drive uh, typically i don't go on vlog because um usually you're fine. i'm alone and you know i want to be safe so that's that i need a coffee last night i don't know if it was excitement or you know i have a late night coffee all the time there is the old red lightning yeah. back there. I have an old uh, an old coffee. I have a, a coffee at night all the time and it never, it doesn't affect me because I think I'm just used to it. Last night I had a 16 ounce Mawa coffee at like 10 o'clock at night and I kept going. I mean, I couldn't be stopped last night until 4 o'clock in the morning. I was just getting the guest bathroom ready, the guest room ready, strip sheets, did laundry. I think it was excitement. You're being excited. I think, she is so happy, guys. I really am so, I'm so what excited. You me? Your brother's coming and... You always say this sentence, I don't even know if you realize it. My brother's coming and nobody can... And nobody can take him from me. That's right. She says it all day. For two weeks, no one's going to take him from me. So, I'm excited about it. So, I think that's... And so I'm, anyway, point is, I woke up early this morning and I didn't give him very much sleep. So, I'm, I feel like I'm crashing a little. So, I need to get a coffee. And I want to have a, a yogurt with some fruit. I need to book a hotel for when we're in New York. Yeah, we have to get the Broadway tickets too. We may end up with a TKTS counter for them. No. It's kind of last minute. No, well, we can find some, I'm sure. Is that so? No. no. <laughs> You're funny. Okay, so, anyway, that's it. Look at my plan. I got this, Brie made this for me at the nursery. I'm going to put it in our bathroom in a little powder room. I'll show you what, I have to put a shelf up and stuff, and I'll show you what it looks like. I actually start. would like to get everybody's opinion on that plan because there's been an internal disagreement about it. I like it. Brian likes it. Your but dad's very picky though. My dad says it's, it's it's ugly. We'll let you guys decide. I like it. I like it a lot. So once we have the, the shelves up and stuff, I'll show you what it looks like. Turkey. Never a dull moment. She's turkey. cooking some turkey. It's 11 o'clock at night. 11.17. Yeah, it's been a long day. And mama gotta eat. Never a dull moment, I'll tell you. This is what's happening in this room. You know, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. So the finish, as you can see, it's a beautiful finish. It's just that in this lighting, you can really see all the defects on them. But then again, they're laying on the floor and you'll never have light hitting them that way. Um, and this is the inside of the office side. So I did it that way on, on purpose. This was the practice side of the door. Got to get the other side perfect. But um, here's what's happening. These are the two office doors. These were inspired by, and I didn't realize this, but they're actually uh, inspired by a big YouTuber um, slash Instagrammer. Uh, Laura actually showed me a picture on Pinterest. She said, "I want." That. Well, by the way, we have a new rule around here. If you want anything done to the house, you have to find someone else who has something very similar that includes paint color codes and all the details so I don't paint anything and then have to repaint the color afterward. Because well, I found the picture originally on Pinterest and I loved it. So with the layout was very, very similar to ours and I wanted to do the black doors. I had it in my mind because I saw it on a magazine. I have self tanner on, so I look ridiculous. You look like a I know. I um, I had seen it on a magazine. Anyway, then I saw a picture of it on Pinterest, which of something similar to what I had seen in the magazine, and I clicked on it, and it took me to Tiffany D's blog, where she spoke about repainting her French doors, and I was like, yes, someone who actually did it. Like, I felt like it's a realistic person, because how often do you see something you yeah. in a magazine, but you like, don't know what they use, you don't, you know, this is a realistic person with real paint that I can go buy at a regular store. So that's why we, you know, that was my inspiration, and Joe loved it. It looks great, you guys. I've, I've seen the picture, and that, I mean, that otherwise, probably wouldn't have taken on this project. So that's these two doors, and um, I'll show you the main door. Over here, this is all done and it looks great. 
and I don't know, the sun hasn't been up since it's been done, but I do believe it's going to look fantastic. The thing is, with semi-gloss paint, you can see what you use to put it on. You can tell if it was a roller or a brush, um, and you can see every streak, but I, I don't think you're going to see much, because and, and there are some drips on here, but that's from whoever painted it the first time, because the paint that's under there was a little bit drippy. So, now i got to flip this over without letting it touch the table. So I'm going to get some cans of tomatoes, put them underneath, sit on the cans on the glass so that the paint doesn't contact the table, and keep going because I, it's kind of late and I want to get both sides done, at least the first coat on the opposite side. Look at the stud muffin. Side two, baby. Side two. He is determined to get this done. And I'll give you sort of a glimpse of what's happening here of what's happening to my kitchen. Quick little glimpse. This is what my kitchen looks like at almost 12.30 at night. I look like a mess because I've got little self tanner on. Uh, so basically, what's happening? Why does my kitchen look like this? Well, I was testing some recipes. My job never ends, just so you guys know. There's so much you guys don't see that happens. It's writing recipe. I, I wrote six recipes. No, eight. Excuse me. Eight. Wrote eight recipes. Tested two. Setting up for two to film tomorrow. And once we film those two tomorrow, then I won't film again until Sarah and Alenia go home. But you won't have to worry about that. Because everything will continue as, as usual on Laura in the kitchen. I also filmed two videos for Batali Style. And I have to film one and a half videos for Vitaly Style tomorrow. I know that sounds crazy, but I have to film half of one video tomorrow because I already filmed half of it. Um, so yeah, that's basically what's happening. I know I look crazy and I look tired, but I love what I do. This chaos is my lab. The night is still young and so are we. Is this thing recording? Not great. Yes. So, it's, um, it's getting there. Second coat of the second door, no, oh, yes, no. Second side, first coat, second door. Got that? There's all together, there's four. There's four sides you gotta do, and you gotta do each side twice. So that's eight painting sessions. But check out this finish. It's pure perfection. But it, this is not dry yet, so I have to wait. Once this is dry, I don't know what this little crack here is. I don't know if I did that when I hit it with the hammer, but it'll go away. Anyway, this is it. I'm hoping I can, that this dries relatively soon. I'll put some plastic wrap on my roller and I'll be able to do the final coat on here tonight and then hang them in the, in, well, tomorrow we'll be in New York. So when we get back from New York, final touch up a little bit with a brush, which will consist of a single hair pulled from a horse's tail. Let me see your grill. <laughs> we are headed to New York City just this morning. Um, one last meeting until I am officially off for two weeks and I'm not going to do any work. Um, well, it must be nice to be you. You're in the same boat. I got to edit the entire time. I know, but that's not what I mean. I mean, I'll still have a little things to do, but like having to travel for work or Maybe having to... I'll be to, able to come and see you while you're on your vacation. Uh -huh, having to film, having not, none of that. I'm just going to enjoy time with my brother because once they leave come September I've got a lot of work to do lots of projects lots of different stuff I'm working on so I'm going to just enjoy these next two weeks to the absolute fullest and then I'll get back to the grind um, and give it 150% but it's a beautiful day it's hot though because it's summer I'm so cold right now why are you cold? I don't know. You have the air conditioners at like 12 degrees. It's at 75. So. 74. 74. But, um. So, yeah. That's pretty much all that's happening. My hair is in a little clip right now. I'm going to take it down as soon as we get there because it was just getting on my nerves because it was on my, on my, my face. Anyway, that's really all we have. I'm going to show you how beautiful it is out today. So it's the same spot. Everyone. It is really beautiful. Look how clear that is. How do I zoom in this thing? Zoom in the bobber.
wonderful meeting today in this very building right here. And uh, right through the brick wall. My vacation starts right now. Your vacation starts now, and mine will continue as I re repair these or hang these doors. Which does not have well, yours is easy because they didn't discontinue your salad. We're at Rana, yeah, but I as you guys know. Else, and then we gotta make a trek up north to go get your shoes at the Hilton. Why are you acting so funny? I'm just very happy right now. She is so mad. Look, two weeks ago I got our Comcast upgraded and she's still mad. It is impossible to use. You can talk into the remote. I want to tell it to go somewhere else, live somewhere else. Can you give me my old box back, please? You said you tried. What's in it for me? The salad that's rocking my world. That's in fact what we're going to call it when we put up on Laura in the kitchen. It's, I don't know how to explain how good this is. The salad that's rocking my world. This is the best escrow salad ever. You know what's not rocking my world right now? My eye hurts, I don't know why. It just hurts. It looks fine though. Well, I look fine after I get punched in the face too, but it still hurts. <laughs> I don't know what they're filming over there, but it's something crazy. It's a guy with a machine. <laughs> Hooked up with some kind of crazy machine. He's wearing some kind of crazy suit. No idea. So since their menu is kind of a dinner menu sort of, we're splitting these two as our entrees. So we're doing the mozzarella and the halibut. We're seriously going into the lion's den here to get your shoes. You owe me big time. Stinks. What if we get there and they don't have them anymore? Guadalajara, I'm about to leave. How do you get to the, the Guadalajara from here? Because you can't get out of this traffic. I don't know, but it's a non-stop flight from JFK to Guadalajara. And it, it's also got a mustache and a hat, so I want to go. Well, I think that all, all of us would agree that the mustache and the hat makes the trip worthwhile. So, um, all right, anybody watching from Guadalajara? Let us know. I'm going to go to Mexico, yeah. Um, I think uh, we're going to be stuck here for another 30 minutes before we get to the, the shoe hotel. And Laura has a theory. Somebody's been wearing her shoes while they had them. Well, we'll see. They were brand new. They're brand new. Brand never Let's see worn. See if they're scuffed up or not. <laughs> what are you inspecting for? She have been worn. A few scuffs. Yeah, but that could be from the house when you tried them on in the kitchen. Did you not do a, a video on these? Piece missing, like, yeah, but that looks like they definitely weren't walked outside. And well, she's doing the inspection, folks. Well, because I take very good care of my things, okay. Well, you know, you happy now? The things I'll do for love. I brought you all the way back here to get these things, and now Gracias. we out. All right, so listen, there's something that this manufacturer needs to know they shrink wrap. The plastic or the, the glass with little thin plastic layers on either side so you can paint it the theory is you paint it and then you peel off the plastic which is terrible magic is going to happen but they sandwich the plastic behind the wood so you can't peel it off you have to use a knife and cut it but that means you can't get paint behind the wood so from the opposite side of the door you paint the door black you can see white streaks on the opposite side yeah. it's awful it's absolutely awful so you have to take a knife and like as hard as you can cut that's all we've been doing on the inside. That's what you can see. This is so ridiculous. This was what, six hours we've been at this. Yeah, but it's done. I mean, I went through all this work. There's no way I'm going to go buy a different door to replace it. Maybe I will because I still have to do the other side. Depends on how I'm feeling when I wake up. It's <laughs> two thirty in the morning now. Anyway, it looked awful. Peeled the plastic off. It looked absolutely terrible. I just I would feel bad for someone that didn't realize yeah. that. Yeah, I mean, what do you do? It's it's. The worst design ever. They tell you that they put the plastic on to do you a favor. It's the opposite. Unless you're painting the door white, then it matches the primer. Because otherwise, you see the white from the other side. And most people are not painting their doors white if they're buying a door that's primed. Because you can actually. Don't even. Don't even. When we went to the store, don't they asked even. us if we'd like to have it painted. And I said, yeah, it would be great. Can we get it painted black? And a certain somebody, I won't mention any names, name starts with an L. 
briefly, very briefly. She says, no, no, don't paint it black because I want to paint a specific color black. Okay. Brief. Brief. Could have painted. But because I love her so much, mm -hmm. I decided not to. Mm -hmm. The moral of the story is never have brief conversations. <laughs> I think we are gonna end the vlog here because it is time for us to get some sleep. I need to get up early tomorrow. We just kind of finished some cleanup and whatever. How do you like my apron? Um, we've got some cleaning up and stuff, just to put all the stuff away um, that he used for the table. And picking up some fresh flowers. I have everything pretty much done. Oh, I'm gonna stop at shop right too. But I think that's about it. How are you feeling? Aside from that, this job has been very, very, very tedious. We should have just gotten the, and it was totally my fault. We should have gotten the doors pre-painted black, but I didn't, you know, I didn't know, I didn't, I didn't know what, you know, I didn't think it was going to be this difficult. And when I read Tiffany's uh, post about it, she said she, the reason why she really liked this paint this particular black was because it wasn't too harsh and that really appealed to me because I didn't want it to be too too harsh of a black so that's why well I don't know I didn't know but um anyway it we got it done it just took way longer and it was way more tedious than we thought because of the whole plastic situation which by the way by the way, the paint comes off so much easier on the actual glass than the plastic. You don't need the plastic. Don't need the, plastic. The, the paint literally comes off so much easier if it's stuck on the glass with a razor knife. Like, easy peasy slides right off. The plastic, on the other hand, is a nightmare. So, we're going to leave it at that. We will see you tomorrow. It's going to be a glorious day. And, um, yeah, see you then. There you go. See that? Now how did he figure out how to get here from this out? How talk to me talk to that me butterfly. It is a beauty. It's a beauty, isn't it? I love that. Isn't that beautiful? You know, can I just tell you, sometimes I think to myself it's not just it's not sometimes. 